Well, Coach, thanks so much for your time. And as we start this uh, conversation, we'll start with the win against Shorter this past weekend, 32 to nothing. Yeah. Talk just a little bit about the enthusiasm that was uh, on the sideline and then uh, after the game in the locker room after getting that first Gulf South Conference win. Well, it's a good feeling, you know, to win. That's a, a lot of work goes into uh, each each ball game. A lot of work goes into full season of football. And, and when your goal is to win, you know, you want to you want to improve. You want to do a lot of things as a team and development of of uh, players and, and uh, obviously working on earning their degree and all the things that go into college football. But ultimately, on the football field, that Saturday, uh, you want to win. And that's something that they're, they've they been working for for a long time. And they got it. I think several of the times before, we've been so close, so close. And to get that victory, is just it was a good feeling, obviously, for the coaches and the players. Well, you talked about how important it was against Shorter to, to jump out early mm -hmm. on them and to kind of knock them back early. And I don't think you could ask for anything more than what Marcel Newsom gave you on that opening kickoff. That was such a big play in the game right off the bat. It was. And you know what, Marcel is very explosive. He's uh, obviously a great player, probably one of the best in the country. Uh, not probably, he is one of the best in the country. And, and uh, you know, when you, when you get on a kickoff return team, you know, not just him, but when you know he's behind you about to catch that ball, I've got a chance. We're going to have a chance. My block is important. If I do my job, there's a chance we're going to score. You know, not just have a good play, but there's a chance we'll score with, with Marcel Newsom back there. And so that, that improves everybody's game. It would mine, you know. And I think that's the way it is for our team. And so uh, to start off that way was exciting. And like you said, it's a, a team that is possibly down a little bit confidence-wise. They hadn't won uh, in the Gulf South Conference either. And they played tough. They played close. They had an overtime game against Mars Hill. They were up on Clark Atlanta. They, they had some games where they played very good. They were down by seven to nothing against West Georgia, as talented as there is in our league. But we knew they were had a chance to, to win. They're, they're thinking the same thing we were, start fast and let's win this game. And uh, it just so happened we were just a little bit better that day. And, uh, but that, that momentum swing was very important. You know, something that we saw during the game from our position in the press box, and I saw looking at highlights of the game as well, was just how good the blocking was in this football game. You know, when Marcel uh, ran in uh, the 30-yard touchdown on the yeah. direct snap, the hole that was opened up for him initially was just mammoth, and we saw that kind of good blocking from the linemen and from receivers and running backs all afternoon. It is. You know, that's what it's all about, uh, Reed. I, I think our players, obviously, they know this, and and how important it is and blocking and tackling and, and uh, just the fundamentals of football are so important. To be consistent with that all day long is, is very important. And I think our defense, it showed up on defense. Our tackling was so much better, but it, was, uh, it wasn't just good for a little bit. And then, and then we had a bad series where they had big plays and, and, and took uh, drives all the way in. We played consistently all the way through blocking. Uh, we did have some penalties. And several of those were, you know, effort penalties, I say. Uh, not necessarily bad, bad calls, but uh, when you give great effort and sometimes you may not hit the guy exactly where you wanted to because they are moving and they're trying to defeat the block. So I liked our effort all day long and, and blocking was uh, extremely important for us to have that success. There was a really a steady, consistent pressure from your defensive players, especially mm -hmm. your linemen and your, and your uh, your linebackers. Yes. I, I don't know how, how many times we probably called defensive back defensive backs names fewer times in this game because they just weren't in on a whole lot of plays. Those guys in the box did a great job. No, no doubt about it. One of the things that we felt like we needed was to put pressure on those quarterbacks. They like to throw the football at shorter, and uh, this is a, an adjustment for them because they've been running the triple option, and they're they're making adjustments as far as with the new coaching staff also which probably benefited us because they weren't as good as they are going to be in the future. But uh, they still, we still got to get in there and pressure that quarterback because they had a kid out there that can throw it and they got receivers who can catch it. And so that's something we haven't done as much this season. Um, we've had some pressures, but that day was just like a, you know, we found a new energy and they got in there and put pressure on the quarterback and not just got pressure on him, but got him on the ground, forced the errant throws, uh, along with that, along with the pressures, defensive backs have to be in good coverage. Uh, it, show, it showed one time on a fourth down where they completed the pass. He was open. 
there was pressure, but he got outside of the pressure and threw to an open receiver. So it happens. Uh, during the day, though, we had tight coverage almost all day long. We had good pressure almost all day long, and that's what resulted in a, in a shutout, and, uh, which is not easy to do in college football, not easy at all. Well, talk about not easy. Let's talk about this week's game against North Alabama. Right. Saving the best for last. This is a team that's ramped up the, the conference, regular season, yes. championship. Uh, but uh, they're, by a lot of measures, the best team in this league, and you know you're going to get the best on Saturday. No doubt. North Alabama has been really good. This will be their fourth straight uh, Gulf South Conference championship. And, of course, right now they're undefeated in the conference, 6-0. and uh, And we'll, we've, got a, we've got an extremely difficult challenge. Obviously, they're very good. You know, every week in this conference is a challenge. Valdosta State was a challenge. Uh, West Florida, our new team in our league, is, was a challenge. Every, everybody we face has, um, and not, they're not all the same either. You know, some throw the ball extremely well, some run the ball extremely well. Most all of them play really good defense. Uh, there's talent on the field. You know, there's players that are extremely talented, Division I caliber talent. And so this will be no different, just probably a little more consistent than any, anybody we played where uh, we were going to have to play really good football. And, and I think that's the way it is. If we want to win, and if we have a chance to win, we're going to have to play consistently good. But uh, this, this week, more than ever, we'll have to play consistent on all three sides. I'm talking about um, offense, defense, and special teams. We'll have to be really sharp. And I think that's what we've been doing. We've been building for this point. We've been building throughout the season to, uh, you know, playing better and better each week. And now it's time to play, and it's uh, to display what, what we've done all year long against North Alabama. It couldn't come at a better time. Well, it's going to be senior day at Robinson Hill Stadium, and uh, there are several seniors on this team for sure. There are not a whole lot of young men who have been uh, with this program for four years through this transition um, all the way. Uh, Cliff Collins, Chris Ory, Carl Rainey Jr., Daryl Johnson, and there may be others, and I probably shouldn't list because I'm going to miss somebody, but those are the yep. ones that – uh, that, that come to mind, but these are young men who have uh, really done a great job in sticking with it through a lot of adversity and uh, have represented this college very well. You bet, they sure have. It's been a, it's not easy, you know, to go what, go through what we've done. Um, to transition from Division three to Division two is, is tough. Uh, to transition from Division two, I mean from Division three to the Gulf South Conference is even tougher. Uh, and, you know, especially when the first year there was, you know, through this transition, there's a portion of it. The very first part, there's several things that don't, aren't allowed through the NCAA, and that is obviously winning uh, championships, being, uh, having uh, recognized for all conference players. You know, good play is not recognized by the NCAA because of the transition or the so-called probationary status, uh, and that's very difficult. Uh, but also we've got guys who said, you know what, we're going to do this. We're going to be part of this foundation. We love Mississippi College. We feel like it's the right fit for us. So it took uh, some really strong individuals and guys who really knew what they wanted in their future, uh, which is unique and it's, it's not odd, but it's unique and it's, uh, it takes a special person to make those type of decisions. I think it will pay off in the long run. And uh, I'm proud that they're here. I'm proud that we've gone through this with this group. Uh, you mentioned Carl Rainey. He'll be back. You know, he got hurt, so he'll be back. He'll be, uh, be able to play his senior year next year, which is good. But a lot of these guys that came in, you know, two or three years ago are uh, playing. we got 20 seniors that are going to be recognized at the ball game, which is good. And we've got a lot of young ones on the team that are playing extremely good right now, which means uh, there's a bright future for Mississippi College football as well. Well, Coach, again, we appreciate your time each and every week talking with us. Uh, it's been a fun season as the Choctaws have improved week, uh, week in and week out, and uh, we're looking forward to the game on Saturday. Good luck. Thank you, Reed.